All right. So thank you all for joining um, today's webinar session. I'm Lisa Razali, talent consultant and um, HR manager for um, IDA SG, and we'll be talking about uh, resume builder. All right. So if you have any questions as we go along, uh, please put it in the chat box, um, and then I will address them during the Q and A later. All right. So before we proceed, I'd like to share a short video of um, our company in terms of what we do. Let me just go on to the next slide. about that okay so um let's talk about resume what is resume all right so it is a short written description of your education qualifications previous employment history and sometimes uh, you can also include your personal interest that you send to an employer when you are applying for a job okay so is it really important to have a resume right so here are some statistics that I like to share. On average, a corporate job offer attracts about 250 resumes. Of those, four to six will get called for an interview and only about one will be given a job offer. All right, so having a resume also increases your visibility by 10%, all right, um, based on the job that you're applying. And of course, at the end of the day, what you want is to land in for basically to lead you to an interview. So, I like to do um, a short poll okay. on the uh, different types of resume, whether you guys know. Let's spend a few seconds. Let's um, wait for about 10 more seconds. Okay, I'll end the poll and share with you guys the results. All right, so I think uh, three is that um, most popular answer. 
But let me just tell you. Okay, there are actually uh, six different types of resume. So let, let us go through. We have the um, chronological, functional, combination, targeted, mini, and non-traditional. All right, so there are basically, as of today, six different types of uh, resume with mini and non-traditional. Basically, we have seen an increased use of this type. All right, so we'll go through uh, all the different types of resume. Okay, uh, just so you know, um, if there's a star mark there, basically it's to show that uh, this type is basically being used commonly, right? Chronological resume commonly being used. Uh, what is it all about? Uh, it is actually a list, uh, resume that lists your work history in chronological order, starting with the most recent job. Um, and, you know, it mostly employers or HR uh, recruiters, we prefer this type because it provides a quick uh, snapshot of the candidate's work history. Okay, uh, best use if you have a solid work history, uh, if your experience is aligned to the job that you're applying for, and there are no lapses uh, in your employment. Okay. Next is the functional resume. Okay, it basically this type uh, focuses on your skills and your experiences. And if you are a, uh, in the career transition or if you are graduates with a limited work experience uh, or you have a diverse background with no clear, uh, clear career path, you can use the functional resume. Okay. So next one, this is also uh, popular or most being used. Uh, this is a combination resume. So combination resume uh, basically combines the first two, which is the chronological and also the functional type. All right. Okay. So typically there are two parts in this type. First part, uh, you will actually highlight your skills, your achievements, your qualifications. And then the second part are basically supported by the timeline of your work experience. So it is best used if you are you know, you want to show hiring managers what type of uh, employee you are. Okay. Targeted resume. So this is actually very rare. Uh, not many people use this. Uh, reason being, um, you require a lot of work because you have to customize uh, details to mirror the job description or the job that you're applying for. So mirror in terms of your professional summary, your qualification, your educational experiences has to mirror the job requirements. Very time consuming and you need to be accurate. Uh, as, you know, uh, be as accurate as possible and not to embellish the career highlights simply to mirror the job. Okay. So mini resume. So this is a bit different, all right, than your typical uh, resume. Okay. So this is actually just a you know you basically have to describe or, or give a brief summary of your expertise, your skills, uh, your education, and it comes in a business card format. So it's best used if you are in a networking session or you want to pass your contact uh, quickly to a hiring manager or recruiter. Okay. So non-traditional resume, again, this is, uh, we've seen increased use uh, of this lately. Um, all right. There are several types of non-traditional resume. Um, let me just, okay. So the different types are infographic, there's video, and there's also online. All right. Best use uh, if you are in creative industry, like you're a content creator, or you're in design, or you're in digital marketing. All right. And these online resumes, uh, also you can also include uh, films or link to, to you know, um, um, microsite, for example, to showcase all your photographs or pieces of your work. Okay, so now that we have covered all the different types of resume, um, I'd like to also share tips here, do's and don'ts, how you can actually craft your own. Okay. 
So tip number one, you have to be uh, sharp and concise. All right. So use uh, professional clean fonts like Arial or Tahoma. All right. Use visible uh, font size between 10 or 12. So if you have a header, you can bold it. You can make it bigger, probably about 14 or 16. Okay. Use active languages uh, such as achieved, uh, accomplished or earned. All right. Um, okay. Do not include uh, information uh, such as pets, uh, religious beliefs, your NRIC number because of the PDPA. All right, uh, number of your family members. So, and most importantly, do not repeat the same job description for the um, different positions, although the designation is the same. Okay, so going back to active language, uh, for example, use it in a sentence instead of I held weekly status meetings to share client updates. Instead of using that, uh, you include active language. So, so the sentence uh, should sound like spearheaded weekly status meetings to commun communicate revenue growth. All right. Pro tip here, if you have less than five years of work experience, your resume should not uh, be more than two pages front and back. Tip number two, professional summary. So, um, right, okay, include skill sets or achievements, or you have any certificates that you want to highlight that is relevant to the job application, include that in your professional summary. For graduating students, you know, you can elaborate more uh, on experience working with your peers uh, on projects or how well you want to manage your time uh, in crafting. You can include that in your professional summary, okay. Uh, do not uh, have more than five short sentences, um, otherwise it defeats the, the purpose of it all. So professional summary is actually a teaser uh, to your resume. Uh, it's like a, your brand. So put some thoughts in it. Okay. Tip number three, craft and customize. All right. So before you even submit your resume, you have to, of course, read the job postings carefully. Look out for keywords under requirements, you know, and then include that in your resume. So if there are lapses in between employments, you, you have to explain. So although there is a saying one size fits all, but it does not come, uh, you know, does not apply in creating good resumes, you have to tailor according to the role that you're applying. But of course, do not, do not lie. Okay. Right, again, do not use the same resume for, for all the job applications that you're applying for. All right, pro tip here, optimize your resume's content and structure to pass through the uh, company's applicant tracking system, or basically, uh, in short, it's called ATS. So for those who do not know what ATS is, it's actually a system that company uses to not only manage applicants, but to filter them as well. Because these type of companies, they receive, uh, you know, a lot of resumes for one job posting. So what they do, uh, they actually include uh, keywords from the job requirements, and then they put it in the system. So if let's say your resume does not contain that requirements, for example, then your resume will be uh, filtered out. So that's what you basically do not want that to happen. All right. So tip four, highlight your achievements. Okay. So when it comes to achievements, do not be shy uh, when you list down your achievements and there is no such thing as small achievements. Okay. You quantify your achievements as much as possible using SMART goals. Uh, what is SMART is basically specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time. So for graduating students, include uh, you know, achievements from your internships, for if you have overseas internship, any awards you receive, uh, you know, any volunteer work or your articles being published, include that in your achievements. All right. Um, certain type of candidates, they, they include the achievements at the end of every employment history. You can do that or you can have a section uh, separately uh, under four achievements alone. That is also that is also OK. All right. Again, uh, do not worry if you don't have any, uh, you don't have many impressive awards or achievements and do not lie. Okay. Pro tip here, your achievements can be a great conversation starter uh, during an interview. Okay. So tip uh, number five, creating cover letter. Some companies require uh, you to submit cover letter 
uh, together with your resume. So this is uh, some basic uh, do's and don'ts. Keep your uh, cover letter to less than 400 words. Okay, customize your cover letter based on the job you're applying for. Use again active words or power words like achieve, improve, manage. Okay, and attention it to somebody. Uh, you know, in 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 the department, whether the hiring manager or the head of department, and then you address the cover letter. Okay, do not state to whom it may concern, and do not repeat whatever that is in the resume on your cover letter. Tip number six, proofread. So a lot of us uh, do not do this, but uh, basic uh, rule of thumb, you have to proofread what you send, right? So review your resume before submitting. You know, you can ask a friend, ask your mentor, family members to review your resume. Okay, so before you, you send out, you have to ask uh, these three questions. Whether the hiring manager or recruiter can understand your resume within 7 to 10 seconds. Whether you have been truthful about your resume and your achievements. And have you checked your grammar or spelling. Okay, pro tip here, use free tools such as Grammarly to check on your resume. Because, you know, at the end of the day, a strong resume can streamline uh, your job search process helping you to showcase your strengths and get one step closer to your dream job okay so i think all right that uh, we have covers uh the our resume builder topic for today so we before we proceed with the q a session i'd like for everyone to take a picture of this slide or scan the qr code to join our community at ida we are constantly finding new ways to connect with talents and uh, build an, an engaging community where like-minded people who are passionate in beauty retail or lifestyle can get together and learn so from the qr code you will not only be able to redeem a free infographic on basic resume tips but you can also be part uh, of our newly launched learning platform available on SmartUp. so um, this is actually an uh, exclusive community where you will uh, of course have to provide us with your email address first and then we can actually invite you so in there you can have access to bite-sized modules uh, for you to learn on the go on Topics from resume building to how to ace an interview uh, to beauty 101. So it varies, um, even new retail trends, for example, and many more topics. So I'm just going to put this up while we do the Q&A session. Um, and on the right side is basically my information. Uh, contact details if you want to get free, free career advice or you're in a career transition or you want to know a bit more about uh, you know, uh, roles or in retail, for example. So um, that's my details here. And also I have uh, my colleague, Wong Sin Hoon's uh, details as well. She's also the talent uh, consultant and business partner in IDESG. Uh, let's see if we have any questions here. Okay, I'm gonna, um, if you have any questions, uh, I'm gonna put this up for one more minute.
Okay, we have a question. Uh, is photo compulsory in a resume? All right, so I think it really depends on the role that you're applying for. For, for, for us in IDA, we, we focus in uh, beauty, retail and lifestyle. So for um, clients, depending, they want to see um, your photos if you're applying for, let's say, a beauty consultant or a makeup artist, right? But uh, in general, uh, it's not uh, important to have your photo uh, in the resume. Let's see if you have uh, any more questions. Okay, we have a question. Should I say thank you to the inter interviewer? Well, okay, um, a little bit, uh, we're touching on um, do's and do's, uh, don'ts, uh, do's and don'ts on interview. Of course, uh, you know, if you had an interview, uh, it is best to, to drop a uh, thank you note within 24 hours. Uh, you can reiterate, uh, you know, uh, thanking them for the time. Uh, to interview you and then you can also include uh you know what are some of the value add skills that you will be able uh to to put in uh if you are given the opportunity okay hope that answers the question okay. another question should my resume be in color Okay, so this is again depending. Uh, if you are applying for a uh, design uh, position, for example, uh, digital marketing, uh, and then there are, for example, if you are using infographic, of course you need to have color. Okay, if it's you know the normal the type like a combination or is it chronological functional, not necessarily. Okay. Okay, we have also another question. Uh, must my photo be serious type of corporate looking? Okay, so um, this is really depends um, on, on the role again. Um, basically, in the resume has mentioned earlier, uh, you know, if you are applying for those type of roles that requires a photo to be in, um, it really depends on, 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 on the position. If it's makeup artist, you gotta look, you know, really nice and all that. But if it's a corporate uh, role, not necessarily to have a photo, but I understand that a lot of people are not on LinkedIn, okay, and, and you have to put up photos there. Of course, it has to be corporate, all right. On LinkedIn, okay, let me see. We have uh, I think one more question here. Okay, tell us uh, what we should do or take note if we are going for a video interview. So treat video interviews um, the same as how a um, face-to-face um, interview, all right? We actually have, um, have a, a bite-sized module uh, on SmartUp on, uh, you know, do's and don'ts for, for interview. Uh, so if you want to know more, you can actually, um, you know, contact me or join the community. So we can, you know, uh, elaborate further, discuss further on this. Let me see if we, I can answer one more question. Okay, if you have gaps in your resume, what should you do? Okay, so um, I understand that sometimes, you know, um, life um, you know, takes over and then, you know, you have to take care of your grandparents or your parents or you want to take one year off 
to travel, right? So it's fine. You can put that in, um, be it whatever the reason. I think um, that is um, being honest is uh, much more important. Okay, so that recruiter know um, basically at the end of the day uh, whether, you know, um, your, 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 what type of person you are at the end of the day and whether you're suitable for the role that they are. Okay, what about references? Must we provide? Okay. Some uh, people include that um, in the resume. Some don't. I think there is no right or wrong answer. Uh, as you go to the second stage or third stage of interview, recruiters or HR person will normally ask this if uh, getting reference is part of their um, SOP. So if you are not um, comfortable in putting in uh, references in your resume, I think that's fine. Okay. Okay. I think we don't have any more questions. All right, so for those uh, joining or has joined in, thank you so much for your time. Um, again, um, take a picture of this. Uh, if you have any questions after this session, uh, you can actually reach out to me. Okay, I'm available on either email or mobile or on WhatsApp. Okay. Um, and then, all right, so I, I, I wish you all, um, thank you. Okay, and good luck uh, to the graduating students. Um, good luck to your future endeavors, right? Thank you all.